Hello and welcome to your advanced hypnosis session from hypnosisdownloads.com. You'll get the best results from your download by giving it your full attention. Please do not listen to it when you need to maintain concentration, such as when driving. Hello and welcome to Keep Calm and Carry On from hypnosisdownloads.com. My name's Roger Elliott. I'm the director of Uncommon Knowledge, and to get the best from this session, Please make sure you're seated in a comfortable chair or lying down somewhere you won't be interrupted for a while. And now before you begin to drift into a deep state of relaxation and inner focus, I'm just going to say a few words about how you can keep calm and carry on even in highly challenging circumstances. You were born with a powerful, robust set of instincts for survival that have been tested and refined throughout human evolution. These are the same instincts that have allowed people to survive for months in the wilderness or adrift at sea. In times like that, it's as if something kicks in, a different mindset, where instead of overthinking things or dwelling on how terrible things are, you focus on what you can control. You focus on getting food, shelter, and taking it a day at a time. There are amazing stories of human beings' will to survive getting them through the worst of times, such as the Burmese fishermen whose ship sank and who floated through shark-infested waters for 25 days in nothing more than a large icebox, living off rainwater and the fish that seagulls left behind until they were finally spotted and rescued. Or of Julianne Diller, a teenager who was the sole survivor of a plane crash in 1971 and who survived in the deep jungle, following the path of a stream for days and days, coping with her injuries, keeping going and keeping going until she finally reached a place of shelter and was found by some loggers. Now, you may not be listening to this in the wilderness or adrift on the ocean or on a desert island, but all of us have these same survival instincts where instead of losing our head in a crisis, we just calmly, persistently focus on what we can control about our circumstances and we keep going. Sometimes people have to start again in life, like refugees arriving from another country beginning their lives from scratch. There are people who once were doctors or academics in their country of origin who then had to work driving taxis or working on building sites when they moved with their families to a new country. It can be a humbling, disconcerting experience to lose the familiarity and the prestige of how your life once was and to begin again somewhere new. But the same principle applies. Rather than overthinking things or dwelling on what was lost, you focus on what you can control. You keep going. And gradually, step by step, day by day, week by week, month by month, you make things better for yourself and your loved ones in whatever way you can. This has been the case throughout human history. There have always been times of great upheaval, times of great loss, and tremendous difficulties when many people's lives were completely upended, and we get through these times by focusing on what we can control, staying calm, and keeping going. And no matter what the circumstances are that you're currently dealing with, that's what the deeply relaxing hypnotic part of this session is going to help you to do, to keep calm and carry on. So, as you prepare to relax very deeply, you can just allow your eyes to close if they haven't yet. And if they're already closed, you can now imagine them slowly closing again. And as you follow along comfortably to the sound of these words, you can simply allow yourself to settle back and to settle down inside. Just notice the rhythm of your breathing and how the breath begins to smooth out naturally and effortlessly the more you allow yourself to relax and rest as the body receives the message that here and now it's okay to relax. Because sometimes the mind gets too caught up in stories, in the torrent of information that comes to us through all the screens and gadgets around us. And it's important to remind ourselves that the endless chatter of the media, of the internet, of phones and computers, and even of newspapers, and people chattering on and on about the situation in the world, that all of that is only useful up to a point. Because it's useful to know what's going on in the world, 
but more and more chatter and more and more mental noise only ends up giving us mental indigestion. It creates unnecessary stress in the body and it clutters up the mind. And it's not about denying reality. It's about remembering there is much more to reality than those stories, often made up by people whose job it is to get you excited or upset. That when you turn off all the screens and sit or lie back and breathe and notice what's actually happening right now in your current experience right here. There is a different reality. The reality of how your body needs this time, right now, to settle down and rest completely. To be allowed the peace and quiet it needs to come back into balance. That's it. Just as the brain needs time to quiet down, to quiet down and refocus on what you can influence, on what you can control. Because if a storm is raging outside, you can't control the weather, but you can calmly take the necessary steps to keep yourself and your loved ones safe and comfortable. And you simply accept the storm. You accept the winds, the flashes of lightning, the rumbles of thunder as part of reality, part of nature. And you only need to focus on what you can control, on what you can influence, to ensure your own safety and the safety of those around you. Knowing that in time, the storm will inevitably pass. That in time, the weather will clear. The sky will clear. At better times, calmer times will inevitably come. And there is a deep wisdom to your body. And when an animal has been escaping from a threat, and it finds a place of safety and comfort, it instinctively knows it's time to rest deeply, to recuperate, to release the old tension completely, letting it all go, and to curl up, to settle down and rest, as everything comes back into balance. And your body needs and deserves the same opportunity regularly to experience that sanctuary of safety and comfort that you can create for yourself. To rest deeply, to recuperate, to release the old tension to relax and rest completely. And in a moment, I'm going to count from five all the way down to one. And with each number, you can relax deeper and deeper still. And five. And you can just allow the facial muscles to smooth out and soften as the shoulders loosen a little bit more with each and every outbreath, for a wave of comfortable heaviness, now flowing down through the upper arms, 
Three, relaxing down through the core of the body, upper back, chest, abdomen, lower back, relaxing all the way down to the pelvic floor muscles, as you allow yourself to sink down into comfort and rest. Two, Relaxing down through the thigh muscles, down through the calf muscles, down to one. As you relax the feet and relax the toes and let yourself rest now in body and mind, resting into complete tranquility calm and well-being. And your inner mind can transport you to a place of beauty, perhaps somewhere in nature where you can breathe in the air and feel renewed. Maybe a place with a magnificent view a place you can stroll through, and with each step you take, you can feel restored, revitalized, with a beautiful sense of calm inside. And your body can now feel calmer and calmer still. Your mind can now feel calmer and calmer still. And when you rest like this, you can feel calmer and calmer still. And when you focus on what effective action you can take to keep going, to make things better for yourself and for those around you, you can feel calmer and calmer still. As you feel a calm inner strength flowing through you now, And this calm can permeate your body and mind, giving you a wider perspective on things, knowing that there have always been cycles in human history of change, followed by stability, followed by change, followed by stability. And some of those changes have been dramatic, where there has been upheaval and major challenges to deal with. And yet it's something we've always had to deal with through the centuries, no matter what shape or form it took. And one way or another, we keep going, we deal with it, we get through it, and ultimately it becomes just another story in the history books, another one of those things that happened many years ago, that children read about in a classroom a hundred years from now, long after everything calmed back down again. Just as we can look back to something that happened 50 years ago, or 200 years ago, or a thousand years ago, from a place of calm clarity, knowing it's just part of the story of history.
That's it. A calm strength. A calm capability. Reminding you that as a human being, you can deal with more than you might think you can. That the very fact that you're here means that you come from a long, long line of survivors. That there is an instinctive set of skills within you stretching back through the generations, through hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of years to accept changing circumstances, to deal with them, and to calmly focus on what you can control. To calmly focus on what you can influence, and to step by step make things better for yourself and your loved ones. Knowing that one way or another, whatever happens, you'll deal with it, because that's who you are. And there is always a calm, adult strength deep within you that knows the truth of that. And it's okay to feel what you feel. It's okay to allow any emotions to be there, because that's part of being human too. And it's also true that you always, always have a deep strength and resilience to you, far more than you might even realize. And you can find that you're naturally becoming stronger because of the challenges you're facing, even if you don't realize it at first, that you are becoming stronger in yourself as you learn to focus on what you can control to focus on what you can influence, to tap into this calm, grounded optimism and inner strength that's always here within you, to keep a cool head and allow the weather outside to simply do what it does, because you can't control the weather. You can't control everything going on in the world, but you can calmly, persistently focus on what you can positively influence, what you can control in your own life. And you can remember to create time and space for yourself, to rest completely, giving the body that right to have time out, to rest and relax, sanctuary to recharge, to reset, to restore itself. The mind now becoming clearer, calmer, a core strength flowing through the spine, through the muscles, a determination and an adult calm, confidence and pragmatism, knowing that whatever happens, you can and will deal with it as you trust in this deep inner resilience 
this instinctive capacity within your body and mind to keep calm and carry on. And you can get a sense of yourself doing this over the coming days and weeks and beyond like watching a future you looking calmer, more determined, a calm, grounded optimism and pragmatism in that future you, noticing the difference it makes in how you deal with things, in how you get the things done that you can do, and in how you create time to care for yourself, time to meet your needs as a human being, practicing good self-care, knowing that you can do this, even when it feels difficult, knowing that really, deep down, you have more strength and resilience than you know, and that you can do this. And you can merge into the reality of this future you now, and immerse yourself in this future calm, confidence and clarity, Noticing how it feels. Noticing a deep sense of calm strength flowing through you, flowing through body and mind. That's it. As you integrate this fully and deeply into each and every aspect of your being, here in the future, and here in the present, and bring this future calm, this future resilience and inner strength, back with you here into the present. Knowing that you can listen to this session often, and you can deepen your connection to this natural calm inner strength and resilience each time that you do. And for now, it's time to prepare to come all the way back to full alertness, back to the here and now, as I count from one to five. And one, you can just notice the position of your body and the sensation of whatever it is you're resting on. Two, beginning to feel refreshed and alert. Three, reorienting to the room around you, beginning to come all the way back. And four, feeling very good, coming all the way back now. And five, and you can just have a nice stretch, and whenever you're ready, just open your eyes. Good. Now we recommend you listen to this session every day for the first week, then just as often as you like, until you notice you're deeply embodying the philosophy of keep calm and carry on, and that you're feeling much stronger and more resilient in yourself as a consequence. And we'd love to hear from you, either on the Uncommon Knowledge Facebook page, or through the contact form on our site. There are associated sessions at hypnosisdownloads.com that you may find useful, such as Be More Objective and Meet Your Human Needs. My name is Roger Elliott of Uncommon Knowledge. Thank you for listening. The very best of luck to you.